My skin is glowing right now. I've been using this new face oil at night and I definitely see the difference. Anyway, I digress. <clears throat> I sound like um, a man voice because I just woke up. Um, the kids are spending the night at their grandparents and you would think that that means I would sleep in, but I still popped up at seven, my normal time. So I decided to take advantage of being up and work on a project because that's just who I am. So my house has a really great third floor. Um, the boys sleep up there, it's our playroom, but I've just never really done anything with a playroom. We're just due for a toy room makeover. So the kids are gonna be back around four-ish and it's currently eight. So I'm going to try to pull off a quick playroom makeover within these hours. Um, and I thought I would take you guys along because it's just kind of random last minute. I didn't really play ahead. I have Pinterest playroom ideas and things like that. I want to get a kids table up there or a little table for them to do art at. Um, basically just move everything they do on the main level to the playroom so that that is where they are versus all their stuff all over the house. Currently they do art on the dining room table, which I don't want. <laughs> Um, my dining room table now is stained with like paint and all sorts of things, which thankfully I'm not like an OCD mom to the level of where it bothers me, but I would prefer for them to play in the playroom that we have because we have a play space. So that is my goal to revamp the playroom to where they will spend hours in there and I won't see them all day. That actually the truth comes out. The truth is I want them in that room all day, not bugging me. Another use, I'm obsessed with this uh, lipstick. It's a really great nude. I'm so random today. <laughs> so random. Also not sponsored or anything. I just like to share random stuff like this, but I love this lipstick. It's like, it gives you a little, not really even color. I don't know. I guess that's what nude is supposed to do, right? It's not really a color. It's just, it's a colorful non-color. Anyway, I love this. It is, Maybelline, yes, Maybelline, and of course the color is Crazy for Coffee is the color. And I, yes, I did get this because it was called Crazy for Coffee, but I really do like it. So if you're looking for a pretty little nude color that's not really, doesn't really show up, but it makes your lips look like you have something, I don't know, Maybelline Crazy for Coffee. And the number is 275. Okay, so whenever I'm trying to do a quick redecorating project, or really any project, I always stop at the thrift store purse. I know you guys are like, are these vlogs turning into Britney just thrifting? Is that what all the vlogs are gonna be about? No, I promise they are not. But I am looking for this little table situation for the kids' playroom, and I figured I might as well come here first. Okay, so within minutes of getting to the thrift store, I saw these cute white chairs that I thought would be perfect. I love that I didn't have to repaint them or spray paint them, they're in really good condition. So of course, I snagged them. The kitchen area of the thrift store is actually a really good spot to find pretend play items for your kids, so I snagged a lot of stuff for their play kitchen. And these are the days when I'm happy that I have a van. Um, so my goal was to find a kid's, a little table and chairs for the, the playroom, but I didn't want to spend a lot on it. Um, and I found it, I'm so excited. The chairs were $6.99 each, and I found a table for 20 bucks. Um, I kind of scored really big today, so I'm really excited. So now I'm gonna unload all this into the playroom, and then I have a few other places I need to run, and I definitely need to leave time to put everything together. So it's already 10.45. Woo, I gotta hurry, I got a lot to get done. Okay, I am now in Hobby Lobby looking for things on sale, and I think I just scored big because it's the week where all the lamps are 50% off. So I'm gonna see if I can find one for the playroom, a cute one. It's not too expensive. Okay, I'm at my last destination, Walmart few things to buy here and then I'm gonna head home and hopefully throw this all together. I'm running out of time so I need to hurry up. But I got hungry so I went to Taco Bell and I decided to follow the vegan food guide to Taco Bell because apparently you can eat vegan there. So I ordered, let's see if they got the order right. I really hope they did. I really hope they did. Please tell me they did. Um, so I got the crunch wrap but I replaced the meat the, be uh, the beef with beans, and then I ordered it fresco style, which means they take the cheese off and they add tomatoes and lettuce. 
so I hope they got that right. Oh, it looks like they did. I don't see any cheese. Oh, yeah, cool. I mean, this is not a healthy lunch, but at least it's still vegan. Mmm, <laughs> that's really good. Sorry, I'll try not to chew. I hate seeing people chew. So I always try not to chew on camera. I also got a potato soft taco as well, ordered fresco style. Wow, I'm really impressed that this worked out. It's still that delicious Taco Bell flavor, but it's vegan. Update. The crunch wrap was meh. Um, I would rate that probably like six and a half out of 10, but that might just be because I, I never ordered that before. I don't really like it. The spicy potato soft taco, really good. I would probably add maybe a little rice on it if I ordered it again. Um, but yeah, that was oof, 10 out of 10. So I just had to let you guys know if it was actually good or not. Okay, I'm back home and I have exactly two hours to get all of this put together. I have everything I need, but I'm like, ah! So wish me luck. This is the current situation in the playroom right now. <sighs> Judge away. Okay, so this is the play space. Looks great, but yes, there is still a Christmas tree up from Christmas. And a non-functional TV. And random just stuff everywhere. It's a wreck. progress I have the little hangout reading area somewhat done a little bit bummed because I didn't get done. I knew this dumb oven would be the death of me. I'm almost done with it, but it's taking me a little longer than I thought, and the kids are already on their way back. But that's okay, they'll still be surprised. It's still a good makeover, considering I did it all in one day, including shopping for everything, which was really crazy. <laughs> I think I got a lot done. Okay, you can come up now. I'm not done yet, but you guys are so funny. Okay, I thought I would give you guys an up close look of everything while the kids are not actually up here. So I'm still not finished with everything, but I'll just give you a little rundown. So this is the little kitchen that I got from Ikea. It's super cute, these actually turn on. Um, I think a normal person could put this together rather quickly. It took me a little while because I'm a little challenged, but it was pretty easy still. So cute, it was only 70 bucks from Ikea, which is a really good deal for a, such a well-made little kitchen. And I've seen people make these over really cute. Uh, if you get on Pinterest, some people, I've seen people like add stuff to it to make it cuter. These are all the little things I got from the thrift store. How cute is that little strainer? Um, this stuff, some of it still has the, the writing on there I need to wipe off, but the kids have been loving playing with like real stuff that feels real. I found this adorable llama print from Ikea. It came in a pack of three for 10 
And then this play food, this was from Ikea. This is all thrift store stuff as well. So this little food area is so cute. This is a basket I found at the thrift store and I just screwed it into the wall to make it look like a little shelf. That's one of my favorite things to do to, for items that aren't super heavy. And then this little food set came from Walmart. Okay, so moving on to the little shelf area, like I mentioned. Um, so I had these already from Target, these little animal heads. They were on sale. I did not pay full price for them, but these have been in here for a while. Um, this is from Ikea. I got that a couple days ago. I love the toys from Ikea. They have really reasonable, reasonably, reasonably priced toys. These little stuffed animals are also from Ikea. Also, guys, none of this is sponsored. I'm just sharing with you where I got everything. Um, I got these from Ikea as well. These are little Duplo, whatever they're called. Maddox loves playing with those. Um, all these toys were already here, so none of these are really any updates. Uh, another thrift store find. These I already, already had, um, but it's just a cute way to um, hold all the little crayons and things. And then this little cart is from Ikea as well. I'm still working on filling all of our art supply stuff in there, so that's going to be full of little jars and canisters of art supply stuff. Uh, and then this is just their little aprons for art, but they also love wearing them to pretend with and cook with. This little area came together really well. I already had these beanbag chairs. I've had them forever. I think I got them from Walmart, but I've had them for years. The pillows are from Ikea. Um, and then I found this cute zebra picture. It was on sale at Hobby Lobby. Um, originally like 60 bucks, which I would not have spent. And it was on sale for, I think, 20. So it was a really good deal. I thought that was adorable. These shelves are just the Ikea, I think they're really for pictures, but I use them for bookshelves. But yeah, I love using these for books. They're super easy to put up. And then this little closet area, I turned into Kylan's, I mean it's for everybody, but Kylan loves dressing up, so I turned it into his little dress up area. There's all of his costumes, there's a mirror. Don't look at me, I look a hot mess right now. Um, but yeah, I hung all of his masks and his stuff so that he can dress up. Little chair, more stuff. And then, um, yeah, a basket of masks and things in there. So, what do you think of the new playroom? Honest yeah, thoughts. I love it. You love it? Yeah. So you think it was worth mommy doing? You like it? You, do you enjoy playing up here better than you did before? Mm -hmm. What stopped you, just so we know, because I'm giving tips about a play space and like what moms and dads should add. At, from the kid perspective, what do you think is important to have in a playroom? Well, for a playroom, you definitely, if you're gonna have books, you should have an area, like a nice quiet area, like in there or right there. Okay, so a little corner, reading corner. What else do you like that you feel like is important for all kids? It doesn't have to be a giant room like this either, right? You can have a kid's space no matter what mm -hmm. size room you have. Um, in my opinion, I think you might have to have like, if you're doing like different stations, mm -hmm. I think you have to have supplies for the station, like art station, aprons, stuff like that. So you then, like having stations. Station, Okay, and yeah. Building a station and the museum, like bricks right there. Mm -hmm. I think you have to like the, like you have to have the vision, I think, before you can do it. The vision! Yes, girl! Yes, that is very true. It's a lot easier to play when you have a vision. So, from the kid's perspective, you give this playroom what rate out of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest, what would you rate this playroom? Honest opinions? Hmm. Before, I would give it. Before it um, was like this, I would give it about a three, but now, but now that it's like this, I give it a ten for sure. Really? Thanks, girl. Yes. That was, was my goal. Let me know if you guys like these kind of home decor, vlog with me style decorative things. I would love to do more vlogs like this because I have more projects that I want to do. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys on the next video. Bye.